Alright, so the first thing we do when we land is some black coffee. It's currently, let's see, 12 o'clock. We're in Miami for a very, very short period of time. I need a haircut and I need to handle a few things out here. I came, came correct. The weather out here is like 90 degrees. This is what you got? Look at the difference. Professional, mature, childish, and a kid right here. Yeah. Sticking to the code, all these hoes for the street. I put it in her nose, it's gonna make her pussy leak. Pussy niggas told, ain't gonna wake up at they sleep. You can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do shrooms, nigga, all my hoes do coke. 20 carat ring, I put my finger. See your phone? Yo, <laughs> that's sick. I know she swallow, she go swallow, she'll go. Alright, so we already went back to the, uh, the Airbnb. I didn't get it to show you guys. Now we're trying to find food. Most of these spots open up at 4. I'm not going to take an Uber. I'm trying to get my, my steps in. Um, looks like I've taken like 4,000 steps today, so that's good. The, wa the, the weather is immaculate right now. Alright, so pick a spot, a bocce grill and noodle bar. Most of the things that I wanted to eat are closed because they open up at 4 p.m. So, for example, right now I wanted to eat at Fleming. That's, co uh, that's closed. But later, I'm hoping to get some Komodos. That'd be nice. And then we'll see from there. But the weather, it's the best weather I've felt in Miami. Like, there's actual wind. It's not humid, I'm in a long sleeve right now. It feels great waiting for that food and then I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so we have the uh, tuna and salmon bowl. Yo, know, everything looks so good when you're hungry, it's great. The wonton, I have no idea what that is. And then something, something, but it's all good. Empanadas. I got up in this All right, I think that's it. It's like an Indian noodle bowl. Smells like an Indian dish. What is it called? Um, damn, I forgot that Indian dish. Oh, curry. It smells like curry. But it looks good. I'm gonna try it and let you guys know. Alright, so the food was delicious. But 90% of the deliciousness was because I was hungry. So right now we're gonna head back to the Airbnb. After the Airbnb, we're gonna. It's, it's always awkward when people start looking. What the hell is he recording? But uh, we're gonna go back to the Airbnb. I'm gonna get some rest, and then we're gonna link up with Alex. He said some sushi and hookah spot. I've never heard something like that. <laughs> Basically, Asian and Spanish mix up. So we'll see. Alex knows his food better. Alright, so we're currently meeting up with Alex. He said he's gonna be there next minute or two. We're meeting up at Sakaya. Uh, he said this is the less ghetto side of South Beach. I've already learned my lesson the first time coming to Miami uh, a couple years ago, and South Beach was extremely ghetto. But it does look alright. It looks like a bunch of restaurants and food blocks here. But he said the spot has sushi and hookah. Yet I don't see sushi or hookah. So we're about to find out in the next couple minutes when he gets here and I'll update you guys. What do you do for a living? What up, how are you? Pop These niggas talking out of their mouth. Alright, so that's that for tonight. Uh, 
I actually do recommend that spot for sushi. It's actually really, really good. And it's surprising that they have hookah, but I'm gonna get some work done. I have my iPad here and uh, probably head to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so the goal today is to stay out the heat because the humidity is back. Over here at a cafe, best uh, So I'm having breakfast for the first time in probably uh, at least a year. I don't remember the last time I ate breakfast. I don't like breakfast, but they have steak and eggs here, which I love in LA. So give you guys an update on how that food looks. Kicking those, kicking in those, as you like that. Young throw, nigga selling lawns, as you like that.